Hey guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I will be sharing with you how to make an amazing overnight high growth spray or tea that you can add to your regimen in order to get your hair thicker, longer and healthier. Now this spray will keep your hair nice and moisturized and also it will help to stimulate your follicles in order to promote faster hair growth. So I definitely suggest that you keep on watching so you can see how to make it. And watch to the end of the video guys so you don't miss out on any useful information now let's hop into the video the first ingredient we're going to need for today's recipe will be some black tea now i'm using english breakfast tea here because that's what i have i mean if you're in the uk you will be quite familiar with this tea but please feel free to use any other tea that you may have so i'm using a tea bag here i'm just popping that in a cup and then i'm going to go ahead and add in some hot water now notice that i'm not filling the cup all the way to the top now the reason why that is is because i want the tea to be very concentrated now black tea is absolutely beneficial for hair guys because it essentially helps to stimulate the follicles in order to promote faster hair growth now it also contains some uh, caffeine in it and this is actually known to uh, block the hormone DHT which is linked to um, associated with basically shortening the hair growth cycle and making your hair sort of shorter and thinner so if you can block this hormone essentially you are in a good way um, sort of promoting faster hair growth and also thicker hair now I just let my cheese sit aside in the meantime i'm just going to prep my next ingredient which will be my aloe vera now i love fresh aloe vera guys i mean if you don't have this it's fine to use aloe vera juice or gel that you may get from the store um, as long as 100 percent natural i think you'll be okay but i prefer to use mine directly from the leaf just because i feel like it's still got all of this goodness in it you know nothing has been added or subtracted i just think it's just it's just amazing so i'm using just this quantity here because i'm not looking to make too much and store but if you want to make a lot then definitely feel free to use more so i'm just extracting the aloe vera flesh here into a bowl and this is what it looks like after it's done i just love the feel of aloe vera like who doesn't I mean this sort of slimy sort of consistency that it has just feels so good so I'm gonna go ahead now and blend this okay so you can use a regular blender or a hand blender if that's what you've got um, so just bear in mind that when you blend the longer you blend the more liquid this is going to uh, sort of liquid consistency is going to have uh, but if you blend it for a shorter time, it will be more like a gel. So I was actually going for like a liquid here. So I blended it for quite some time um, because I noticed that when it's a bit thick, it's a bit harder to um, come out of my spray bottle essentially. So blend it for a bit longer just so it's a bit more like a liquid because we're trying to make a spray. So I'm just uh, straining it here using, a, what is this called? A recap. But feel free to use any other thing that you may have available to strain your DIY. It could be a sieve or maybe a stocking cap or a tea towel. So just work with what you have. So this is what it looks like after it has been strained. Just so you can see it's got some pulp in it. Um, so I'm just going to dispose of that. Now I'm transferring my aloe vera juice here into this bowl just because I just love this bowl, you know. Um, and I just feel like because it's transparent, you get to see the raw colour of the stuff that I'm working with but obviously aloe vera is a bit sort of white and foamy so in the previous slide you probably you know uh, the contrast wasn't very good but hey so I'm just adding here my black tea after it has infused and this is what it looks like so I'm just going to go ahead and just mix that well uh, with the aloe vera and essentially proceed on to add my next ingredient so we will be adding some avocado oil to this but feel free to use any other oil it could just be olive oil or grapeseed oil oil or any other oil that you may have really i love avocado oil because it's so high in vitamin e and also amazing fatty acids that are known to sort of help you know keep your hair nice and healthy um i just yeah i just love it so I went in next with some essential oils. Now I'm using peppermint essential oil here. And I also will be using some tea tree essential oils. Now essential oils are extremely beneficial and worth having in your 
DIYs just because they help to increase the blood flow to the scalp and in turn you know nourish your follicles and promote faster high growth so definitely worth adding now i'm also adding a bit of uh, mango fragrance oil here and uh, this is just because i want this to have a slightly better smell to be honest it didn't smell like anything at all to be honest but i just wanted it to have a smell you know um just so my hair can smell nice so essentially i'm just sort of uh, mixing it here i'm pretty much ready to use so this is it very simple easy to make and very easy ingredients yet very very effective because it's got some amazing stuff in this which we talked about earlier so i'm just adding it here to my spray bottle just so that you know i can easily use it and that's it we're pretty much done um i'll suggest that you keep on watching guys because i'm going to show you how i'm using it and basically talk about you know how you can also use it to maximize growth um so you definitely want to watch this part as well so do keep on watching now this is what my hair looks like two weeks after wash day i just think it looks amazing um the shine is still there it's still got somewhat some type of moisture but you can sort of tell this is dry but it's not like you know scary dry i just love how shiny my hair looks i mean before i mean back in the days when i used to just use um short book conditioners and stuff like that and not really i wasn't really into diys my hair used to be so dull but since i started doing you know diy stuff i just think my hair has so much shine all the time and it just feels so so good now i'm not saying that you know short bought stuff are not good but i'm just saying perhaps the one that i was using just wasn't very um very good because i mean your hair will stay moisturized which is nice but then perhaps like a week later you start to have like sort of uh, flakes in your hair and lots of yeah but basically it just wasn't wasn't good after it dried up um but now my hair feels so much better it's shinier it's just it's just nice i don't think i'll ever go back to, you know to anything else from this diys because i just i just love them um, obviously I'll probably use you know short ball stuff you know if I have to once in a while um, but yeah my DIYs are definitely going to be all the way um, so essentially I'm just parting my hair here into two big sections and then I'm just going to again part them into smaller sections just so it's easier for me to work with now I'm just using my spray here and I'm just testing it on my ends because I just wanted to be sure that it was um, coming out now I'm just going to spray this to my roots first and essentially as I'm spraying I'm massaging just to sort of distribute the um, the spray you know over my scalp and also my roots now scalp massages also are quite beneficial for hair growth because it increases the blood flow so I always massage my scalp I mean any opportunity that I get to be in my hair I always massage because I just think it's you know it's definitely uh, beneficial so why not do it the thing is if you do it very often you probably would find that it's just easier you just don't even remember to do it you just do it because it becomes second nature um, and essentially yeah the benefits are definitely um, amazing so at this point that guys I'm just doing the same to the rest of my hair including my ends you know just to make sure that everything is nice and covered and again i'm just gonna you know gently uh, massage my hair just to distribute the product over it and just put pretty much just smooth it out now i'll do a bit of finger detangling as well um, but i don't usually uh, detangle my hair after wash day because i'm trying to minimize you know manipulation i mean we're youtubers we make videos on on the hair so we're constantly in our hair so i just thought you know perhaps not detangling like i used to um every time that i work on my hair could be beneficial because i don't want my hair to thin out from constantly um combing it out and stuff like that so after that guys i'm just using one of my butters here just to seal the moisture now i have showed you how i make this butter previously you've probably seen it but i'll link the video somewhere up here or in my description box if you haven't seen it before um this butter is very nice very softening it just yeah it's just really really good I, I i just love it so i just put that on there and then after that twisted and pretty much 
repeated the i'm going to repeat the same process until my hair is completely done now i would suggest that you use this spray at least twice a week to be able to see an amazing result now this will get your hair very nice and thick it can also depending on your hair type make your hair very strong because the you know the the tea in this essentially is what makes your hair a bit strong okay so if you're looking for something that would you know give you thickness um and essentially um give your hair strength this is definitely worth you know um trying out now i would normally leave this in i'm not going to wash it out um but if you do find that it makes your hair very um you know uh, what's the word i'm looking for um, very thick and perhaps slightly drier than what you would want it to be then go ahead and rinse it off um, but yeah I just love how it made my hair feel and basically how moisturized it felt as well the thing is my hair is I don't even know how to describe it I just feel like my hair really soaks up most of the ingredients as long as this it's got like good stuff in it in most cases it's just okay um but there was a time when i used it and i felt like it was a bit strong but anyways see how you get on with this like i said you can also wash it out if you're finding that it's getting your hair a little bit too thick and perhaps drier than what you would want so i'm just repeating it here until the rest is completely done and that's pretty much it now i'm not going to show you guys how i do my entire hair because otherwise you, as you can imagine the video will be very long um but i just went ahead off camera and finished this off um so this will be it for me today thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it if you made it to the end of the video if you liked it guys it's quite important for you to hit the thumbs up button and also subscribe if you're not already and i'll catch you in my next video so thanks for watching bye now